According to the American Bar Association, the definition of hate speech is really centered around three particular words. If you use words that are insulting, offensive, or threatening to a particular group, you know, like based on race or religion, gender, sexual orientation, and all the rest, uh, that could be hate speech. By the way, I would love to add America to that group, but we'll save that for another video. I've been watching these Trump rallies and these protesters. I listen to liberal radio and TV all the time. I read all the time the liberal sites just to keep up with what they're uh, espousing. And even though they may condemn the violence of the protesters, they don't even mention the fact that their hate speech is off the charts. So I got to point it out. Now there's three groups I've noticed that are at all these Trump rallies that are protesters. One group is the anarchists. I don't really understand why they're there, or at least I haven't, because I thought they were just basically against rules and government and all that's tied to that. Well, I was wrong. I looked up some of their websites where they're calling people to come out to protest, and uh, I'm actually shocked because, to me, modern uh, anarchists are nothing more than communists. Again, that's another video. But I found a one particular anarchist website. It's called uh, itsgoingdown.org. I want to give you an exact quote from something they wrote on that website. Support of Donald Trump is enough to justify oneself as a target of anti-racist violence. That means if you're a Trump supporter, you deserve to die. You deserve to be physically attacked. Where's the left on this? Just unfathomable. Another group is the flag burners. They're always burning the American flag at some of these uh, Trump rallies. And I don't quite understand that either. Now, I know it's free speech. You can't say anything against that. But you know, it may be free, but it's hate speech and the worst kind. As far as I'm concerned, uh, doing burning the flag is as bad as calling a black man by the N-word. It's very offensive, extremely insulting to me, and I'll tell you why. And I wonder if they even know what the flag represents. The 13 stripes that are on that thing, the red and white stripes, they represent the 13 original colonies that declared their independence from the King of England. The 50 stars, they don't stand for the 50 shades of gray. They don't even stand for the 50 dumbest things that Trump has said. They stand for the 50 states. In other words, it represents every citizen in this country. How dare they burn that? And I tell you right now, once they burn the flag, they're off the table for me to sit down and talk with them. I'm not going to hear a word they say because I don't care what they say from that point forward. And actually, the only thing I would ask them is, why are you here? Find a flag that you can go enjoy and live there. Which brings me to the last one. You've seen the Mexican flags that are flying, which is just, again, bizarre to me. But to me, again, that's hate speech. They just hate it. They hate us. They hate this country. Again, I don't know why they're here, so they throw that Mexican flag up there. Just don't get it. And I will say this. If you think you're going to attempt or do things to make this country Mexico, I promise you, if not Trump, someone else will ship your ass back to Mexico. Guarantee you. We're not becoming Mexico. So I don't know why the left is quiet about this, but I just had to, had to say something. And one last thing. I'm so impressed with the Trump supporters, how they've managed to keep their cool, because there's no way I could. Of course, I'm an old guy, okay? I was raised differently. You know, now in schools, if you fight back, then you're going to get suspended. If you retaliate against a bully, you're the one that's committed the wrong. I don't roll that way. For me, you come get in my face and start screaming obscenities, if somebody doesn't get you out of there pretty quick, I will punch you right in your nose. You throw something at me and hit me with it, it's on, my friends. So a word to the police, you men and women need to be on this thing, and I mean the first second. These protesters get in somebody's space, throw something, whatever they do, they need to be thrown out of there immediately. And I'm not throwing them in jail, just get them out of the protesting area and tell them if they come back, you will put them in jail. This stuff has got to be reined in, my friends, because what Trump is doing is the essence of free speech politics, rallies, and the fact they're trying to stop it, really nothing more needs to be said. How we get through this, I don't know. And I tell you this, I'm not even that much of a Donald Trump supporter, but these protesters are haters and nothing else.